Good morning. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Oh no, it says the stream is bad. You guys, I checked my internet and it was good. Can you guys hear and see everything okay? I'm checking my, my internet. Oh, the upload speed is slow. Hopefully it'll pick back up. Like I just checked it a few minutes ago and it was good. And now it's half of what it was. Okay. You guys can't see me though. Would you like to? Where am I? Hey, you guys, if you've not been here before, good morning. If this is your first time, I'll turn my mute, my computer. Uh, welcome. And I do this every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So um, there's been like 38 videos in the, if you click the little eye, no, nope, this way. Click the little eye at the top. It will give you two cards. One card is another video where I showed images and cartridges in Design Space. And I'm going to kind of, we're going to go through some of the cartridges, but leave where I left off before because I didn't get very far. But I'm going to show you some other things too. And there's also the entire playlist of all my Saturday videos. Now, YouTube has updated, so the comments stay with the video. So I no longer have the comments over here on the screen like I did in my older videos because you can find the chat on YouTube. If you're on the iPad link, you have to scroll down a little bit till it says chat, and you can click it to live chat or top ch chat. I It always seems the same to me, so I'm not sure what the difference is really because... I see the same. Um, so if you have questions, put them in all caps so I can read them because I cannot possibly read all of the chat while I'm showing you something. I'm here by myself. And she says, I'm a little blurry this morning. Okay, if this goes bad, then it's recording on my computer and I will upload it again later. Um, let me know in the comments if it's bad or good um uh, it my let me test my speed again and we'll see how that is um wow 296 watching already thanks Kiana, for the update um let's get started okay so we're gonna start here but i'm gonna show you how i got here so I clicked on images. So if you're brand new to Design Space, and I want this for people, there's so many people out there that have the expression and you're gonna need to learn Design Space. So I wanna show you, some people are so afraid, I just answered a question in my Facebook group about, um, she has the expression and she bought the maker. Thank you, Janice. She bought the maker in November and she's too intimidated to use it. So I want to do this video. I want to start out the video and kind of showing what the difference is, the expression and design space. This is so much easier in my opinion, but people that have used the expression for years think that's so easy only because they've already learned it. If you haven't learned it, then um, then this is difficult because you haven't learned it. Just like when you open that box for the expression, you had no idea how to use that. Tell, I'm telling you that was difficult. And I never really learned it. Didn't like it. It was too difficult. And if that was too difficult, and this is extremely easy for me, you can do it. Okay, so here are the Make It Now projects. But that's not what we're going to do today. We're gonna click here. Oh, and I forgot, I was gonna give you guys a sneak peek of my project for Tuesday. I 
also wanted to apologize. I say I have crafty videos every Tuesday and Thursday. That didn't happen this week. Hold on, I'm looking for my, I'm also the director of my thing or producer, I don't know. I don't know, I have to click all these buttons to get the different cameras. Okay, so I didn't have a video Tuesday and Thursday like I normally do because I, I just couldn't. I was designing a card. It took me a week to design. All the images are completely free. The vase took me a whole day to design this vase out of free images. So the Patreon supporters can get this for totally free, except for the font is in access. It's a beautiful font. So if you don't have the font, you have to pay for it, but you can take that away. Okay, so this card is not finished. I did a sneak peek video with my Patreon supporters yesterday. And so if you are a supporter and you missed that video, you can go to my Patreon post and watch that video. Um, but I wanted to put this card together. I thought, well, I'll just do it live with them. So here's the front of the card. This is not finished. So that's kind of what it looks like. And then you open it up. And that's the inside. And then you turn it over and then you flip it this way pull out these flowers a little i think and then it stands on the desk like that and then this is not done this it'll have flowers and stuff on here but i didn't i needed to cut more things on it so and more i have stems i made that go in here and stuff but isn't that cute i love this card And there's another card, too, that I'm not going to show you yet. You have to wait till Tuesday. Okay, so I'm going to do that live on Tuesday and put it another one together so you guys can learn how to do that. My hair is sticking up in the back. I'm going to get my hair done today. This is going to be teal, and my roots are going to be pink and maybe some other colors. It's going to look like a peacock. Okay, back to design space. Okay. <sighs> design space. Okay, to find the reason for this video is because so many people in the Facebook groups are like, where they're brand new to Cricut. Where do you find your images? Where do you find your SVGs? They're not even looking in design space. And no one is telling them to look in design space. Well, a few people do, and I do. Um, but there are over 60,000 images in design space. Okay, so you click this button right here. It says images. And then this is what you come to. Now, if you just scroll through this, these might not be images you wanna use. So you don't think that, um, yes, my hair is gray, it's almost white. You don't think these are things you might use, okay? So you're thinking, you're just scrolling through all these and sorry, I'm scrolling so fast. But, and then you're like, there, I don't wanna use any of these, okay? These change all the time too. These are just the beginning. But you can go to categories and this is the most important category it changes every friday it's free for the week thank you suzy q so you click on that all these images are free for the week this is doodle charms i think yeah you can click the little eye and it'll tell you what cartridge it's from these are not in access sometimes the free for the week are in access but you can cut these out. The questions I have is, if you save them or download them, do you get to cut them for free forever? No, you can't download them unless you're using an iPad. You can uh, save it to your device, but when the week is over, it'll ask you to pay. Uh, yes, Judy, I will uh, show you the curved fonts in a little bit, remind me again. Um, but you can cut these out now. Look at the jars. So many people are looking for jars. Now you can bring this jar in. I'll bring it in in a minute and just do the jar. And if you like mason jars, 
Go cut out a bunch of these. They're only free for the week. If you save them to a project, they will save to the project. They will not disappear. But when you go to cut them, it'll ask you to pay for them. So just know that. So these are free. Every Friday they change. They don't always change in the morning though, I've noticed. Sometimes they change after Cricut employees get to work. Palm tree, like, you know, you can cut, like if you like palm trees and stuff or put them on cards, cut out a whole bunch of palm trees for free. Save them for later. And doodle charms, these are great to make with charms. That's why they have these little circles on them. But you could slice those off if you don't want them. So every Friday, you should come here. You like snowmen? Cut a bunch out for next winter. Cupcakes? You can make birthday cards with these. Cut them out in different colors. Put them in a little folder or box. This is an awesome apple. That sounds weird. But if you're making something for a teacher, you could cut out some apples. More palm trees. I like those. See, and they put them like this. They're, I think they're, they call them borders. Yeah. The border, you can put a whole bunch of these together, weld them together. Or just um, cut a bunch out and piece them together and put them along your wall. Or if you're having a luau, make a paper banner with them. There is so much in here. Turkey, Thanksgiving. Shaker. Snowball. What are they? Snow globe. You could cut that off if you want. Spiders. Now here's the apple with this. I think most of the images have this and without that. Cupcake border, so cute, kitties and doggies. And yeah, see, most of the images come with or without this, so you can just find the one without it. Look, you can make a baby card. Yeah, if they're not in access, Thank you, Janice. I am so excited you're here. Janice is in Canada over on the West Coast, so she usually doesn't make it to my videos in the mornings. What was this one? Flowers, I like that. Okay, so those are free for the week, okay? Totally free every single week. There's images in there. These are not in access, so if you don't own that cartridge, you might wanna cut some of those. Okay, now most popular. Ooh, I like those feathers. Oh, and look, they're free. I don't know why they're free, but they're free. I don't know how long these will be free or if they're always free. I don't remember ever seeing these. Why are these all free? I'm in most popular. Why are most popular free? Are these also free? These are, I know, are free. This is a cartridge Cricut font and basic shapes. I think those are always free, I think. Skeleton free. This box is free. And you put these little charms on here. That's cool. Now these are subscribed. These are in excess. If you like to make cards and you're new and you've never done it, these simple everyday cards are so nice. They're, it's just two pieces to put together. And um, I'll add this too. So I have these down here. They will add to my thing and we can look at those. This is an awesome uh, spooky castle. That one's not free. I purchased that it's from Happy Hauntings. Love this butterfly. This is what made me do this video is because so many people um, ask, like, 
I've seen so many people show, share projects with a butterfly in it. Oh my gosh, where did you get that butterfly? And I recognize the good butterflies in Design Space because I love those butterflies. And so I posted, there's 500 butterflies in Design Space. And people are looking to purchase SVG files, which is a lot more work than just having it in Design Space. Uh... If they are free for the week, could you add them to your projects and have them forever? Yes, but you have to pay for them. You can add them to your project for free, but when you go to buy them, you have to pay unless they're free when you uh, do it. Like these that are free up here, if they're always free, they'll always be free. But if they're only free for a limited time, you save them to a project, it will charge you if you're not cutting them out at the free time. What's this one from Home Accents? So these are the most popular images. And so many people don't use these enough in Design Space. These are so much fun to add to cards and stuff. And I'm with that. I don't use those enough. There's Mickey and Minnie. So cute. These are always free. Cricut Craft Room Basics. This cartridge is always, always, always free and forever. And these have a layer to them too. They all have like a um, shadow layer or offset layer. Aren't they cute? So if you're just looking for... If you don't know what to do and you want to look through something that's popular, these are popular. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of those. It might go on for a while. Okay, and then, oh wait, I want to show you more categories. Uh, recently added. Have you guys seen these? These are the quilt squares. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought, oh great, they have the line on there so you know where to sew. But they don't uh, when you bring them in. But I will show you what they do do. They're kind of awesome. And look how cute those are. So first, I'm, I'm going to bring these in. And then we're going to come back to the quilt squares. And I'll show you those. So we're going to insert image. The newest circle cartridge. Uh, I'll have to remember what that is. Uh-oh. Plug in error. Okay, let's reload. They had a new plug in and I didn't do it. Okay, let's go back. Now I lost the images. I want that jar. So I'm looking in free for the week and I'm going to search jar. So here it is. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that cute? So. What was the other one? I was going to show you. I forgot. Okay. So here's how this jar is. Comes in like this. You can ungroup it. You can take these out, these out, and just have a jar. Now this is cut out. If you don't want that, you can hit contour. Contour is down here at the bottom of the layers panel. See down here? And then just click on this image and just click the X or just click off of it. And then you have a jar and right now it's free and you have these free too you don't have to use this for the, with the jar let's group that together you could do it like this you could set an owl on here or a bird or something and put it on a card so this is free right now but if you wanted to pay 99 cents for it you can keep it forever and ever, and you actually have these two images that you could use totally separate. I used to do quilting and sewing until I found the Cricut and started paper crafting. Oh, that's right. It was a thank you card. Thank you for that. Okay. So, so has everyone got this one? I'm just going to get the remove this. Uh, 
So I can always start with a clean. Was it in this one? It was in simple cards. Simple cards. And then I'm just going to search thank you. I'm just going to search thank. Oh. That's not what it was. Okay. Now it's saying no results because it's saying think. There is no cartridge that has think in it. Yes. Thank you, Joan. The la latest uh, circle cartridge is turn of phrases. Now, here's all the cartridges that have the word card in them. There are a lot of them. It wasn't simple cards. It was simple everyday cards, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, let me search think. Here it is. Um, contouring does allow you to delete some of the cut lines. Oh yeah, it was the most popular. Okay, so all these cards come with an envelope. Now, if you wanna size this, okay, <laughs> let me zoom out. Um, because I have everything so big so you guys can see it better. So I'm going to zoom out. Okay. This is something that if you have a Cricut expression and you've never used design space, this is very, this is so easy. If you had the expression, you had to click all the different buttons and find all the layers. And then you had to make sure they were all sized together. With this, you have all the layers right here and the envelope. And you can just size it by dragging this, dragging it to the size that you want. And I have lots of videos on how to size cards and envelopes, but we are going to, so you size before you ungroup. That's very important. So I'm going to ungroup this, I think. I have lots of videos on contouring. Lots, I think every single live video that I have done on Saturdays, if you go back, I use contour. Some I use a lot. So this card, if you're afraid to do cards and you have not done one, look at how easy. The Cricut just cuts it. And you just put this paper behind it and you can choose any color paper you want to choose. That's the best thing. So you can choose that paper. And if you're ever doing paper and it's real intricate and it's ripping your paper, Jamie Leonard, who's in the chat, she has discovered that if you use the deep cut blade, because the deep cut blade has a uh, stronger point to it, it cuts intricate much better. It doesn't cut deeper. It cuts, the blade has a higher angle. So if it's thicker, it'll cut higher on it, but it's smaller point. It has a smaller point to it. So it cuts intricate better. Okay, so we're going to replace this. Some people have asked me about this too. They don't know what to choose. Well, I don't want to keep this on my screen, so I'm going to click replace. If I wanted to save this file as a project, I would click save. If I don't want to do anything, I would just hit cancel and this would stay here without saving. But I want to replace it. Okay, let's go back to images. Now we're just going to scroll down the categories a little bit. Um, do you guys know what's an achievement? 
I'm not gonna go through every single category, but these are things that, uh, like for a birthday party, or graduation, wedding, or, well, I don't know if it's wedding. It's like these type of things. It was Veterans Day. Retirement. Actually, I don't know if these are in here. These are a circle membership. You have to own this cartridge in order to see it, I think. Okay, so, and there's a Hello Kitty in there. If you don't own this cartridge, you won't see this one. That one's retired. Okay, back to categories. Animals, anniversary, arts and entertainment, birthday, baby, Christmas, Cinco de Mayo. So if you're looking for a specific, you have a graduation coming up. You can come here and find lots of graduation images. Okay. Uh, categories. So we're just going to scroll down. There's Hanukkah, Halloween, healthcare, and medical. So it's not just all like uh, holidays, spiritual and religion, sports, spring, St. Patrick's, summer, Thanksgiving, travel, Valentine's wedding and winter, and they're in alphabetical order. Yeah, that first one was achievement. Okay, now here, if you scroll down, you get the brands. So if there's a brand you really like, like Anna Griffin, you can click here and get all of hers. Disney, DJ Inkers. I'm going to click on that one in a minute. Dreaming Tree. Emily Henderson. I've never seen this one. Got to click it. There's nothing found. That must be a new one. Do you guys know Emily Henderson? She's got images coming. I've never seen that one, so it must be brand new. I don't know when they're coming. I don't know anything about her. So now I'm going to have to Google her. Kim Byers, I love her stuff. Corey Clark, Leah, Lori, Martha Stewart. Martha has some new ones. And they're really good ones. Some of these are older cartridges. Um... Oh, this, I think, is from her new one. Oh, I don't know. This is a new one I haven't seen. Martha Stewart birthday images. How cute. Yeah, I don't think. Look, an ostrich. And I've got to move my chat because I have to keep going back and forth. Okay. Did you guys know you can pop out the chat of the video? If you're watching the video, you probably don't need to do that. Oh, I like that one. Happy birthday, Mom. Uh, I just have different tabs open. Let me... I can't see what you guys are seeing. Um, see up here, I'm using Google Chrome. Oh wait, you can't see. There we go. I'm using Google Chrome and I just have, can open another tab. Let me move it up so you can see the bottom. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna go back to categories. You can look through that cartridge if you want. Marvel, Natalie Milan, photo play. I'm looking at if there's any other new ones. Okay, I don't notice new ones except for that one. And DJ Ingers, I want to look in there. I like theirs. I love their font. <laughs> please, oh please join us. That is cute. 
And then they have drawing. So these will draw on your cards. Oh, I love that. So you can attach these to your cards and they will draw or write, whatever. It's the same thing. Shine your fabulous light. Love that. Make today best. And then they have these really cool cards. I love these cards. Always and forever. That'd be great on a wedding card. Okay, so you want me to open a few tabs at the same time, not toggle between them. All right. So I could do that here. Let me pull this down. So what I would do is pull this down like that. If you want to see both of them, they're just going to have to be half the size. And like you could do that. But I don't know that I want to do that. Just because. Uh oh. I clicked. Oh, there we are. Oh, wait. Here. Put it back up there. Um, can I explain circle membership? Yes. Do you guys, do a lot of you want to hear about circle membership? Okay. I'm going to drag my video over. So this is my video on YouTube. Here's where the chat normally is. Here's the share button down here. And if you click the show more actually it's right here but this has more links and how to follow me on facebook and everything so if you shop through my link i get a small commission small smaller than before but i get a commission so if you shop here this will take you to cricket shop and if you click on sale You'll find over here Cricut Circle. These are the Cricut Circle cartridges. Right now, the only one available is Turn of the Wheel or Turn of Phrases. And it takes a minute for these to load, but I'm going to go ahead and click Turn of Phrases. The other ones are sold out because they're physical. This is digital. When you purchase this, you get this cartridge. You, in your account, you get to keep it forever and ever and ever. But with the circle cartridge, you get 10% off everything you buy. Um, okay, I still have my chat open from yesterday's video, getting lost. Um, and this picture should show up in a minute. But you get 10% off everything you buy at Cricut. Now, if you have Cricut access, that also combines with this. So you get 10% off and then another 10% off. And then with my code, another 10% off. My code does not work on machines and stuff, but Cricut Circle and Cricut Access do. Here it is. And I think I've done a video on this cartridge showing you the cartridge. Um, so you can go over here and see these. So this is yours forever. You get 10% off. You also get free shipping over $50 automatically. No code or anything is needed. Yeah, Janice, the other ones you can't get in digital yet. I suggested that to them. They said, great idea. And they'll look into that. And I haven't heard anything or anything about that. So I will uh, maybe ask them again about getting those in digital. I don't see why they can't do that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's reasons. 
Okay, does that make sense? That's all it is. Some people think it's more difficult than it is, but that's all it is. You get a cartridge forever and you get 10% off for a complete year. That combines with my discount, it combines with the sales, and it combines with uh, access. So that's why then buying through the Cricut shop is the cheapest way to buy and you get free shipping. It's Everything is so much lower in price if you get this. Okay, back to design space. We're gonna go back to this one. Okay, so these are, I went through the, cartridge, the categories. Okay, next is cartridges. Now you can search in cartridges. Um, is there anyone that's, I don't know what to search. Search bug, no results. I don't know why I was thinking there was one. Um, so what has the word happy in it? Oh, happiness, color happiness. Look at their coloring pages. Uh, DJ Inkers, happy together, happy Easter, happy graduation. Um, happy glamper, love this one. This one was in a digital mystery box a while back. I don't know why this one is in here three times. But if you just search one word, like before I searched cards, there's a ton of cards. And then you click on the images. You're not just seeing these. There's more images in there. Like there's 107 in this one. Yeah, you get a discount from DS and from Circle and my code. And when it's on sale and when things are 40 or 50% off, I feel like they're losing money. Okay, now let's go through the different cartridges. So I have these tabs open. Now if I click on this, I lose my space. Notice how this is way at the bottom. Last time, and there's a card in the video of showing, we went through a lot of these cartridges. And I think we left off somewhere around here. So if there's any of these you really want to see, summer's coming up. This is a really good, you have over 200 images. And if you don't own it, it should have a price here or maybe it says subscribed if you have access. I don't remember. Um, so let's go back over here and search. We have to, if we search here, it's gonna search inside this cartridge name, okay? Because we're in this cartridge. To click back on cartridges to start a new search. So I'm going to search summer. Um, the camping trailer go, it's in, if you click, if you search happy in cartridges, the happy glamping, or if you just search glamping right here in cartridges. This one was in the mystery box that is, it still might be available. The March mystery box, this one, this cartridge is in there. Um, oh, it was this one we're looking at. 200 images for one small price. Don't remember what it is. Mm, excuse me. You have hiccups. Getting hitched, that's cute. Yeehaw, National Cowboy Day. Alexa, when is National Cowboy Day? Sorry, I don't know that one. She doesn't know either. That's cute. A moose. Oh, look. The moose is behind the flag. Celebrate freedom. Here's a little camper. 
<laughs> it's a lazy boy chair. This is probably good for a Father's Day card. Oh, look, a roller coaster. I've never noticed this one. I even bought this cartridge a long time ago. That is so cute. Yeah, these are all in access. If you have access, all the ones with the green A, you get to use for free. Statue of Liberty. And as you can see, this is great for uh, the US and Canada. Eating a popsicle. Just married. This would be great for a Father's Day gift. You can't even um, bring this in, ungroup it, and separate this. Don't want to use it as a tag. Put this on a card. You could cut this out of iron on and put it on a shirt and do super dad okay for the person who asked me about the curved text let's do this uh, we're gonna here's the curve button if you do not see these two up here you will see the word more click on more and then these two will come up let's just do that super dad Let's move the letters together. We're going to use letter space. I get this question a lot. Once you curve, how do you move the letters together? Um, like if I want these two more together, I can ungroup it. Move that a little more. And now if I want this the same color as this, I would click over here, color sync and just move these down to the blue. So it's all the same color. And then, do you know what happens if I leave it like this and hit make it? You guys, you don't hit make it enough when you're designing to see what happens. Oh no, that's not what we want, is it? Okay, let's hit cancel. All we have to do is go down there, bottom of the layers panel. Oh, you guys can't see it very well. Whoops, there. Click attach. So now it's all attached. We click make it. There it is. Now, another thing, if you don't want all of these holes out, if you want the solid, thank you, Ronald. Uh, Oh, I can't hit contour because I have this attached. So let's detach. Let's just choose this image. Let's hit contour. You can go down here, hide all contours. And then you have a solid image. This isn't because this, if you notice, there's nothing down here. If you wanted to fill this in, you could add a shape like a rectangle and um, weld it in there. Where, where was that box? It showed up brown that you had there a few minutes ago. Does anyone know what she means? I'm not sure. And then if I want these spots back, I can hit contour and... Can I unhide all contours? No. I just click. Oh, say I just want the face. Like that. That's cute. You just click on what you want to bring back. Good morning, Mary. So that's that one. Um, your favorites disappeared. I think they're working on the front of the uh, projects on the front page here. 
I don't know why. I don't know if I have any favorites. Oh, I don't want my projects. All categories. Okay. Let me put this as a favorite. No results. I don't know. I heard they're working on it. And I just remembered something else I was going to show you. Oh, the quilt patterns. Okay, so let's go to images and categories and new. Let's go back to this. This is one of the things I lost. I want to show you guys this. Um, let's do this one. So all of these, if you want a two inch triangle, it's actually, oh no, if you want a finished 1.5 inch triangle, this actually does a two inch triangle. So it gives you that half an inch of sewing on either side. So it's a quarter inch around. It gives you a quarter inch around for your sewing. So this is a much bigger one. So that line looks much closer, but it's a quarter inch around the entire thing. But let me show you how they give you these. So you can get it individually or you can get it. I'm going to have to make this smaller. You get one at a time or you get all of these or this is for a 12 by 24 mat. These are going to cut it much faster than you could cut all of these. And you don't really want to size it different if you want that size that you asked for. Oh, and I clicked on this. This is the bigger one. It's for a six inch one. So it fits on there what it can fit. But it notice it cuts off the little dog ears for you. So when you're sewing, you have to normally cut off the little corners when you're sewing and quilting. You don't have to do it because the machine does it for you. You could add a sewing line if you want. You can add a line anywhere. You can add a draw, cut, or score line anywhere in any project. So this is a score line. And I could attach it to that. But then I don't want it to score. I want it to write. Although it would do anything you want it to do, whatever you put in, what tool you put in. Here's the washable fabric pen. But you don't even, you could pick magenta. And just whatever you tool you put in is what it's going to do. So you could add the sewing line if you wanted to do that. Yeah, the seam allowance. That's the correct wording. <laughs> uh, is there a good resource for color matching for the Disney characters? I don't know of one. If anyone else does, please answer her in the comments even after this video is over. I don't know. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's go back to these. Sugar and spice. These are wonderful for little girls or baby showers and things like that. Suburbia is fun for the old 50s look. These, oh wait, I'm going to go here. I'm not going to click on here or mess it up. Let's go back to cartridges. Let me see if I can just type sub. No. Hundred and forty one images. These are great images. Do you guys remember this? I do. <laughs> this is me. I forget about all of these images. These are awesome. These would be great for Father's Day, too. I've seen a lot of cards with these. And thank you guys in the comments for answering so many questions. Hot Mama. 
Not today. Love these. Oh, yeah, that was Pyrex, wasn't it? The end. That was like at the end of old movies. Remember that? Martini. And who had a little coat like this? I did. Old man. These would be great for cards. Oh, and my grandma had a clock like this. And a phone. <laughs> oh, I love this bicycle. I've had this cartridge for a long time, but you forget what's in these. I love these men like this. Those are great. They can be for cards or whatever you want. You you could put this on a shirt. You could do it with iron on. You could you can do anything you want with these. I just mostly make cards, so that's what I do. Scandalous. Camper. Thanks, Janice. This is cute. This is what they did to kids when we were little. Oh my gosh. See, you can put this on a shirt. <laughs> No comment. Oh, I remember these. And that's a pay phone. The kids nowadays have no idea what this is. Okay, that was fun. Stretch your imagination. This was free a few weeks ago. 400 cartridges, not in access. You can see these are in access. These are not. And then these... These are only five images. These are just smaller sections you can buy for only $4.99 if you do not want the whole cartridge. So these little pieces are from that cartridge. So if you own this cartridge, this whole cartridge, do not get the smaller ones because they're already in there. So excited, Michael, for your closing date. I want to see pictures. These are still stretch. Oh, and street signs. I think this is a fun one, too. Straight from the nest. This, I think this is one of the first ones I bought. It has beautiful butterfly in it. This is great for spring. Uh, we have to click on cartridges. And I'm just going to type in nest. 255 images. And you don't have to use these for cards, but you can. You can cut out butterflies and make them 3D and stick them on the wall. You could cut this out and stick a bird or an owl or something on here and just cut it out of vinyl and stick it on your wall for decoration. Cricut vinyl comes off the wall, but it will stay there until you take it down. These are pretty. And something like this, I think, would really be pretty in a little girl's room along the baseboard of her wall to put vinyl on the wall. I would love that as a little girl. I would love it now. I don't think the little girl's ever left me. Spread your wings. You could put that on a wall and then put butterflies. To make 3D butterflies, you just cut out the butterflies out of paper and bend their wings out. And I use a tape runner and stick them on the wall. I do have plans for some great big butterflies on my walls. Wind beneath my wings. You could put this on a um, t-shirt. Oh, that's pretty. 
This is really pretty. I like that one. These are pretty. You could cut these out in any paper. I would use greens, different greens, and that would just be pretty on a card and putting some flowers on top of it or something. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. So many people are searching outside. I like that. Outside Cricut when there's so much in here. Head in the clouds. This would be cute above. And remember, you don't have to do it in these colors. This would be cute above someone's bed. Or if you don't like the way these are, just type it in uh, design space and add some clouds. That'd be cute on a shirt too. Hen party. Chilling with my peeps. Leaves, these are great for fall. I love using leaves and stuff. Cupcake, a little birdie told me. That's cute. Love that one. I kind of want to put this on my wall in these colors too. You could just put a word up here too. You could curve a word. Oh my gosh. Can we just play a little? Did I answer? Do you guys have questions? Oh, I'm going to get rid of all this. Okay, let's go back. I'm just going to move him down in case you have questions. This is so pretty. And it has a background. I wouldn't use that if I was going to iron it on or... Um, Put it on a wall so always look in the layers panel for hidden layers what word do we want to put up here how about blessed we just might go over an hour today because i just want to play but i want to answer your questions too so oh and i want this to match that color so i'm going to go up here to the top color sink we're going to move this down to here. We're going to curve. Let's see. This won't fit perfectly. But it will pretty well. So now I'm going to have it here, but I'm going to move these. Oh, I can show you how to curve parts of words or make it a wave, too, if you want. Um, so I can go to advanced and ungroup the letters. And so I'm just going to move this to fit on top here. And I'm just going to sit them on. Isn't that cute? Oh, I want a different font. Didn't even think about that. Okay, now what font do I want? Avery, um, ask that question in my Cricut Design Space group. So you can show a picture and we can help. And sometimes I have to answer with pictures or other people do, or we need to see your picture. I don't know exactly what you're wanting to do. Um, I have how I want it, I think, in my head. Go to system fonts. See if I have anything that Cricut doesn't. No. I don't download many fonts. No. Hmm, that's okay. Oh, wait. So I'm going to hold down my command key. 
holding down command, clicking each letter so it selects each letter, and I'm gonna to go to my layers panel and group so I can move those back out of the way. Now this, I'm gonna curve. Don't know how much. I wanna put them closer together. Oh, that's almost perfect. I don't even have to undo them. And we need color sync. Make these the same color. And I'm actually going to make it bigger. Now it probably won't fit perfect. Oh, it's not bad. Okay. I like that better than this one. Thank you, Heather. Okay, now, uh, are there any questions? Prayers to your husband, Debbie, and you. I'm looking through the questions. I did not get very far in the cartridges. I'm still in the S's. <laughs> Here's a stencil one. These are good uh, to cut out to make stencils with. Let's go to images. Click on cartridges. So notice how they're cut out here. So these, what they mean by stencils is you can cut these out of plastic stencil material and use them like with inks or paints or things like that. You can cut them out of vinyl too. Yeah, some of them would be more vinyl, but I love this little guy. The wings. Aren't these cool? You can use these for all different kinds of things. Yes, if you're a Cricut Access member, I think you can still buy the cartridges that are in excess. And that way you have them forever. Oh, somebody said the soccer ball looks great on the bottom of shorts. Yeah, you don't have to just like iron things on shirts. You could do put things on pants. You can put them on the butt of your pants. <laughs> put blast off on the bottom. Of... <laughs> well, it's just funny. Uh, what cartridges are in the quilt squares? Um, if you go to images and type in, well, actually, let's go to cartridges, type in quilt, then you'll get these. They're also coming out with more shapes. So shapes that they use in quilting, they will come out with more shapes. So look for those shapes coming out soon. And you guys, there's a lot of Cricut stuff coming out soon. There's some things coming out this next week you are going to love. Some of you are really going to freak out. Okay, I'm reading your comments. How do you run two Cricut machines at the same time? Uh, you can have two different tabs open and one through Bluetooth and one through the cord. Um, some people have run four Cricut machines at the same time. I've never done that.
Okay, are there any other questions? Standing stuffies. Huh, that's a new one. Let's search stuffies. I don't know if there's anything there because there's nothing showing. No, this must be something new coming that's not exactly here yet. I don't know about this one. Thanks, Jamie. Stamping, here's some images that uh, maybe work like stamps, like, you know, something you'd stamp. Thank you, Sue. These are great around St. Patrick's Day. I love these, I use these a lot. Spring holiday cards. These cards are really, really easy. If you wanna make some cards and you're not sure how to paper piece and stuff, let's go here, click on cartridges. Spring, I'm gonna just do these spring cards. Oh, it brings up so much when you do two words. Spring. Here they are. Okay, here's. Oh, and there's boxes too. So you can put these things on boxes. That's what these are for. Oh, well, these. Let me, let me show you. Three carat minimum. Let's do this one. Insert image. So I'm just gonna make it bigger just to show you. So it only comes in two pieces. Ungroup. So what this is, is this is just a card. You could put it on the front of a card, I guess. But these cuts here are for you to just stick this in so there's no glue. So you stick this in those little cuts. And then I guess it's just a one thing card, but then you can put it on top of other cards you make. No, you don't. Uh, once you buy the circle cartridge, do you have to keep buying others to get discounts? No, you actually, they only want you to buy one circle cartridge a year. So you get 10% off for that whole year. You do not have to buy any more cartridges ever. It does not automatically renew. So once it runs out, if you want the uh, new cartridge or the discount again, you have to buy the new cartridge. They come out with one new cartridge, usually in August. Oh, and I didn't show you this, the filter. So I just, I'm just in the images and then you can click filter. A lot of people ask, how do they find the uh, mystery box images? Well, if you don't own a lot of cartridges, like a lot of the new people, you can click on purchased um, or you can click on cartridges click on filter and click on purchased. So this will only show me the ones I've purchased. And the list goes on and on and on. Uh, if you have Cricut Access and you only wanna see the ones that are in access, cause you just wanna use free ones, you don't wanna pay for anything, you can just click the ones in access and flip through those. Or if you don't have access and you just want free ones, you can click just free. And I think, see it shows doodle charms. This is one's only free this week. This is giving me all the ones, oh no, these, wow, these are all free? This, is this free? I don't know, this was free a few weeks ago. Phone decals, these are cute. 
Look, it has all of these alphabets with these. Look at the flamingo. I like that. Marissa, on uh, Patreon, I do have uh, envelope files for A2, and then I have for 5x7. Oh, cards that need space for extra elements. You could just make them a little bigger. Uh, there's no way through design space to print pattern paper at 12 by 12, but there is just through your computer if you have a 12 by 12 printer. Thank you, Christy. This is always, always, always free. Uh, Cricut Alphabet, I think, is only because I owned the Expression 2. The Cricut Expression 2, this came with it. And I'm not sure if the Cricut font basic shapes. I'm not sure about that one. But I think that's why those are always free for me. These uh, go with Anna's Cuddlebug embossing folders. There's embossing folders for these gatefold cards. And then these are the cuts for those. And then every year they make us a new calendar. Every year the calendar is always free. And you could steal images from these. Like you could steal the border here. Oh, that's pretty. The border down here. Let's try it. I've never tried it. I'm just saying you can do it. Let's let's try. Okay, if I want to steal this, I'm calling it steal. But it's really not stealing. It's here and it's free. Okay, we're going to unlock the lock. And I've also had the question, why are there no rectangles? Because you can unlock the square and make any size rectangle you want. So I'm going to make a rectangle to go over the shape. And I'm going to select them both by I'm hitting my mouse button and dragging it across those two. And I can't slice. Oh, I know what we can do, I think. Oh, I can't contour either. Darn it. Oh, that's because, look, we have to ungroup. Okay, it has this behind it. Let's get rid of that. And it has stuff attached, so we have to detach. Okay, the calendar, detaching. Oh, so this is nice. We could use this, and we can put our own thing up here. Like, you could make a list, things you want to do in March. Or just cut this out really big and do, you know, put it a place for photos. That's really, I love this March one, although it's over. But okay, so I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna move this to the back because I just wanna cut this out. Okay, so now I'm selecting them both and now I can slice. And look what I have. Now I can use this. Oops. I can change the color. Is that here? Let's make this so we can see this better. Isn't that cool? Love that. I never thought of it either. That's why I just like to play in design space. I like it better this way. But you could duplicate it, flip it. No, not flip it that way. I must not have this even. Flip it vertical there. And you could put a name in here. You could put your name right here. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah. See, so you can go back and like almost make a scrapbook out of the past months or isn't it cool?
October has like spider webs. Ooh, the feathers would be pretty too. You could use these feathers. This would be cool and you could take this and put in a word here. If somebody was getting, oh, let's try that. This would be great for a wedding. Gotta ungroup, take this, delete that. Okay, I gotta move down. <laughs> um, we can't, oh, we have to detach. Let's try to contour. What I was gonna show you on the other one too, but I forgot and I just sliced it instead. This has lots of contours. We're gonna hide all contours. No, let's not hide all contours. Let's do this. Okay, and let's hide this. And we gotta hide inside the letters. Um, I want that to cut. Okay. Look, look at this. Let's add text. Um, okay, I'm just going to add a name. Uh, move letters closer. Put that here, curve text. <gasps> Look, this would be great for a wedding. And then you can make this the same color if you wanted or change it to any color you want. That would be so cool. Let's move the letters a little closer. <gasps> so cool. And if you didn't want these, you could remove those, but then this would be cool to maybe put some pictures here or something, or, you know, and then you could put this in a picture frame. You could make one for every year, maybe. Um, can you change the day initials to Spanish? I, I don't know. If you can take the letters away, you could put new ones. Yes, you can update your standard practice, your standard practice, your standard access to premium, and it like kind of prorates it for you. Oh, she said not a wedding that has a bat in it. I never saw the bat. If it's an October wedding. <laughs> I never saw the bat. You could take this away. Let me see. You can't take the bat away. You could take this away. Huh. How can we make the bat disappear? Let's see what that looks like. Still a bat. Oh wait, maybe if we take this piece away. Oh, it's that top one, isn't it? Okay, let's bring these back. Now it's not so much a bat. <laughs> I never saw the bat, that's funny. fun that these are free images and you can just play around with I I like playing with things in design space February you have all these arrows you could totally use these arrows you could use this border you could use this border for anything you want okay let's play with this one ungroup you have to detach get rid of that get rid of this okay we have this we're gonna contour
now we have a pretty border you can make on a card let's contour again let's contour the whole outside now you have this see how this is just the little pieces like if you were um this would work if you're cutting out of vinyl not paper if you're cutting it out of paper you would need the big piece back that piece and then look make a super dad let's just move this to the back like that totally does not work oh that's not grouped anymore I must have undid it. Um, how to select all the layers. Okay, I'm going to ungroup this. So all these letters are single. I'm holding down my mouse left button. While I'm holding it down, I'm dragging it across. They're all selected. And then I think things that are here, I think those are like, here, let me try it again. There. So they're all selected and then you can group. So then they're not single anymore. You can move the whole thing. You can also weld. And now it changes it here. Did you see that? You wanna see the difference of weld and attach? See how all the letters are separate in the layers panel. They're still grouped. They don't need to be, I can ungroup them and this all still works. Okay, so now let's select them and attach. They're still all layers like this. They are separate layers. So I'm gonna detach, show you again. Okay, select them all again and weld. It brings them all to one image. It cuts out together. If you just have them attached, they actually will cut out. Um, and cut out part of the letters that they're touching. They will cut out each letter. Okay. Is that good? It's been an hour and 23 minutes. Getting tired. That's funny, Mouse Baby. Uh, I use the scotch tape runner to stick things to the walls. Thanks, Jamie. I'm on overtime. Oh, I do have a hair appointment, but that's not for two more hours. Okay. Hello. All right. See you guys next week. Tuesday, I am doing a live chat. If you missed the beginning, it's for this, this card. And you flip it over. And I love this card. Isn't this cute for Mother's Day? That folds up. Thank you, mouse baby. Ooh, Joan got a haircut this morning. All right, guys, there are lots of awesome things coming very soon with Cricut. That's all I can say. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Not the scotch tape, the scotch, the big pink ATG gun. Um, what's the ATG stand for? The G stands for glider, tape glider, advanced tape glider. I had to do it backwards. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.